All right, just ordered a bayonet for the uh, Henry Martini Mark II, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. And this came from International Military Antiques, just like my other Martini-related stuff. Let's unroll this. All right, here we go. Covered in dirt, as expected. So this would be the 1876 socket bayonet. And these would have fit on your Mark 1s and your Mark 2s. You can see the three pronged edges right there. It's not very sharp. And then once we get it cleaned up, we can take a little bit uh, closer look at those markings there. Here's the pattern 1876 socket bayonet all cleaned up and shined and I put some renaissance wax over the surface here um, and then you can see it has a lot of the original tarnish which gives it some extra character. So the blade itself was 21 inches long or 21 uh, and 3 fourths inches long and the total unit was 25 inches long as you can see here and this was a bit of an improvement off of the 1853 uh, pattern socket bayonet which was for the uh, pattern 1853 muzzle loader of course so right here is the inspection stamp and it has the unit designation on it if you can see it um, I'll also put a picture up so the unit designation uh, number which is 164 in this case uh, over the British War Department's uh, stamp which you can kind of see right there and you can see the the little light off of my camera shining which is kind of annoying but whatever and then uh, you have the issue date uh, underneath of it. And in this case, it's, I'm sorry, the uh, acceptance date, which is 1085, uh, which is October 1885. So that's kind of cool. It's a little bit later, but it's the same pattern in the 1876 socket bayonet. All right, actually applying the bayonet is incredibly easy. Like other socket bayonets, it's basically a game of Tetris. And there you go, it's in there.